I have a riddle for you. What do you get when you take a Game Boy Pocket? Game Boy Color. Backlight Kit. And then put them all together. You get... Game Boy Light. <laughs> so, this is uh, a somewhat rare model uh, that Nintendo actually made. It is basically a Game Boy Pocket, but it has a built-in backlight. Um, it's pretty cool. It's high. It's, um, it's nothing special. It's just it's basically a Game Boy Pocket. Basically a Game Boy Pocket, and you have a built-in backlight. Um, it does not play any Game Boy Color games, despite sharing the majority of the form factor with the Game Boy Color. And the backlight itself is, well, it's a backlight, I guess. Um, it's not great. It is very dim, but it is what it is. Uh, one of the big pros about the Game Boy Light over the Game Boy Pocket is the significantly increased battery life. Now, the battery life is much better because it uses two double A's compared to the two triple A's that the Pocket uses. And that is basically the difference. Uh, it's just a Game Boy Pocket and a Game Boy Color shell, but with a backlight. Now, the shape itself is a little bit different because it's styled after the Pocket instead of the Game Boy Color. And instead of this nice, smooth, round battery cover, they normally actually come with uh, one that's a little bit more contoured. You know, you can really see the, the nice backstory to the Game Boy Light there. But, I don't know. It's... It is what it is. These things are expensive, uh, largely due to the sheer amount of them there are, which is to say, not very many. These were launched in, I'm pretty sure, 1997, but only in Japan. These were a Japan exclusive. Uh, they didn't see a release anywhere else. And then not even a year later, the Game Boy Color came out in 1998. Um, and the Game Boy Color played every single game that this played, and then some, but in color. The difference being, you know, smaller screen and, of course, no built-in backlight, but that didn't seem to matter to people. And, uh, well, let's be frank, over the years, the electroluminescent backlights in these things haven't, hasn't quite done so well. Why am I talking about all this, you might ask? Well, I like talking about Game Boys, but mostly because I want to talk about some of the mods that there are available for this thing. And uh, until recently, that was really not that many. Um, all of the standard Game Boy lights came in one of two colors, gold or silver. As you can see, with age, the plating kind of wears off because they are plastic. Um, this happens to both the gold and the silver ones, but it does not happen to any of the limited edition ones that came in better colors like clear red or clear or clear yellow. Might notice a theme there. Um, but anyway, if you have one of these and you notice, you know, the finish on it, this is, it's not so great. Um, you don't really have any options other than stripping it down and repainting it. And that's what I was in the middle of doing with this one. Trust me, it looked much worse than this. It looked like the back of this one, but all over the front too. It wasn't great. But anyway, started stripping this one down. I got black primer on there and I was working on the battery cover, sanding it down until I got the same texture. Um, just haven't finished it yet. This is an ongoing project. When uh, this dropped in my lap, Oh, Mako, what is that? Is that a Game Boy Light shell? You might be sitting there asking. Yes, that is exactly what it is. This is a brand new 
aftermarket Game Boy Light shell. Now, this is a pre-production sample. These are not available. I do not know when they will be available, and they will never be available in this color, so I'm told. This is just a sample. comes in white. The uh, actual release shells will be coming in, I believe, clear and clear yellow. I don't know if they're coming in clear red. I don't know if they're coming in any other colors. If you want a gold or a silver one, buy the clear or clear yellow and paint it yourself. That's basically what it comes down to. Uh, but anyway, let's go over some of my initial impressions here. Uh, again, this is a sample. Things may change upon the final release. I am 90% sure that this is not the final mold based off of some of the missing details that I assume they'll add, like the power designation and, um, you know, any of the labels on it. Bear with me just a moment. All right. It did come with uh, some screws to assemble it and the shielding that goes over the uh, in the cart slot. You can see here on this one. But because of who I am as a person, I have absolutely no idea where that went. So I'll just be using the uh, parts from this one to reshell it. If nothing else though, and you're like me, you have a Game Boy Light that does not have a battery cover. You know, you don't want to 3D print yourself another one, which is exactly what I did. Um, this isn't my model. I can't share it, but I will share a link to a similar one. But battery cover, nice, same as OEM, fits right on there. Great fit. Problem is, finish doesn't match. Uh, this is white. This is gold. But this Game Boy Light is in need of a repaint, so you know, just paint the battery cover with it. If nothing else. At least we're getting new battery covers, you know? I don't think they'll be sold separately, so you'll probably have to buy a whole shell for that, which is kind of a bummer, but beggars can't be choosers. Let's go ahead and reshell it and see, see what's up. It did not come with the battery terminal, but we can transfer that over. Also didn't come with stickers, uh, but again, sample. Who knows what the final ones will come with. I will say, if nothing else, I do, I do actually kind of like it without any of the text on it. Like, there's no text. I think that looks, I think that looks really slick without the text. But I can understand if you feel differently, but then again, it is aftermarket, so it's not like it's ever going to look OEM anyway. All right. Let's go ahead and transfer over the shielding. It did not come with screws for the shielding, so even if I didn't lose that, I would have to use these screws anyway. I think it's going to be okay. All right, battery terminals will pop out pretty easily. There's just a little tab we need to depress on the inside. Just gonna take my tweezers, press it down, slide it out. Then I'm gonna take my tweezers, bend it back out again, so it doesn't fall out, and we'll jam it back in there. Everything will be good.
Is it in? I think it's in. It didn't click. Oh, I see why it didn't click. There is some flashing in the hole. Um, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. It's pretty recessed. But hopefully they get that fixed for the final release. All right. Four screws for the motherboard, unlike the three that most Game Boys normally have. But there is one extra screw near the EL backlight connector to make sure that that is nice and secure. And if you're looking at this motherboard and going, gee, that looks a lot like Game Boy Pocket. Because like I said, it's basically just a Game Boy Pocket, but with a backlight and a Game Boy Color style shell. There are a few Game Boy Color compatible parts in here, uh, such as DC connector, headphone jack, and speaker, but those are all the same in the pocket, again. Uh, but also D-pad A and B are the exact same as the Game Boy Color. But anyway, here is the Game Boy Light PCB for those who've never seen it. It is basically a Game Boy Pocket, but with a big-ass high-voltage transformer right on the front of it. And then on the back, you know, same deal, basically a Game Boy Pocket, but warning, risk of electric shock. It is a high-voltage AC power supply. That is not supposed to be in there. I don't know how that got there. That's awkward. Ooh, there's flashing in here too. That we can remove. Such is life when it comes to samples. They're not perfect. There's still revisions to be made. Changes to come upon. That doesn't need to be trimmed, but I'm here. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. Okay. So while we're here, if I so desired, that button is sticking. Why is it sticking? Is it because is that more flashing? It is. I could put custom buttons in here if I wanted. So I was starting to say. I don't really want to though. There it goes. Again, sample. It's usually the sort of thing they have worked out for the final version. You can actually get new lenses for these things, not in glass. I believe they still only come in plastic. Hopefully that'll change soon uh, with the release of these shells. But you do have to be careful you're not getting um, Game Boy Pocket Game Boy Light shells because Game Boy Pocket lenses are not the same size as Game Boy Light lenses. But there are plenty of sellers that sell Game Boy Light lenses that are pocket sized just with Game Boy Light printed on them. Uh, anyway, screen comes out the exact same way a pocket screen does uh, because it is just a pocket screen. Be careful, you do have your EL panel in here. So give it a little twisty poo. It'll come out. The screens are technically interchangeable, but as soon as you remove this EL panel, it stops being a Game Boy light screen and starts being a really shitty Game Boy Pocket screen because uh, this screen does shit this screen does not have a um, a reflector on the back it has what's called transflective film so 
while it is largely reflective from the front, you can see, you kind of see through it. But if we put a light behind it, you can see pretty much all the light through it. It's neat how that works, right? Light in front, perfectly reflective, light in back, you can see through it. That is transflective. Um, unfortunately, the kind of film that is used on these things is kind of hard to get your hands on and kind of expensive. If you want anything good, you can get the cheap stuff. Cheap stuff is easy to get. Cheap stuff is not good. I'm going to go ahead and transfer over the gasket. Because why not? I completely glossed over this, but make sure you transfer over the little silicone block. Drop the screen in. Should just fit. Indeed, it does. Drop that in there. Plug that in before I forget. G Mako. The Game Boy Light just uses a Game Boy Pocket screen, but with a different film applied. Does that mean the Game Boy Light is compatible with Game Boy Pocket backlight kits? Why, that is a fantastic question. And yes, that is exactly what that means. You can do exactly that. You can put a Game Boy Pocket backlight kit into a Game Boy Light. So you can take one of those new Q5 IPS kits, jam it in there, and get yourself heaps of battery life. You will, of course, get dozens of people whining to you about how you just ruined a rare Game Boy. But what those dozens of people don't seem to get is that not all Game Boy Lights are uh, in the same condition. Like, I don't know how close you're paying attention to the screen that I popped out of this one, but this screen has some screen rot. There is no coming back from screen rot. And transferring that film over to a Game Boy Pocket screen is going to be nigh on impossible. Luckily, it is all off in the bezel on this unit, so it's still, still perfectly usable. But, yeah, I pop it out, you can see it a little bit better. Uh, maybe not. You see it in that corner though. But it is there. Ruin the video if you don't believe me. Power switching. And put the back on. Ooh, that stripped out amazingly easy. That's cool. Maybe the screws it comes with are better to use. Or maybe that's a problem they're working on. 
That one's stripped too. Tops and bottoms are fine. It's just the two middles that stripped out. By the way, if it's not up by the time this video goes up, I will be um, doing a video about these batteries at some point. Hold out for that. Pretty please. Or check out the uh, Project Farm video on it. So, first thing. My screen is incredibly crooked. I don't know if that's me or the shell, but it ain't good. I don't have to fix that. But buttons feel great now that they're not sticking. I think the tolerances could be a little bit better on A and B because those look real tight in there. The stock Game Boy Light has a little bit more of a gap between the buttons, but it feels fine now that I got the uh, flashing out of the A button. Yeah, feels fine. Still gonna play like a Game Boy Light because it's still a Game Boy Light. You can see that horrendous ghosting on the screen. Everything looks like mush. It's all right. Or we can turn the light off and switch the light independently from the uh, console. It's pretty neat. Just for comparison, because it doesn't feel like a Mako video if I don't uh, if I don't show this test. But there's that there's that scrolling bars test. Now, if only it would stop focusing on the reflection. on my finger. Nope. It's not going to do it. Alright. Well, whatever. I'm just having fun at this point. And no, the lens is not off from the screen area. That is just the angle I'm holding this at because if you didn't call you didn't hear me when I mentioned it earlier, the screens on Game Boy lights suck. The backlights, too. And to turn off all my lights in here just so you can see that the backlight's even on. Oh, you can see that screen rot. Can I not skip? Oh, there we go. The start button needs to be hit a little bit harder, but that could just be this console. I don't think it's... Yeah, look at that pea soup. Anyway, okay. Let's try fixing the uh, LCD the lazy way.
For the record, I don't recommend doing this. Especially on a Game Boy Light that has the uh, perfectly working LCD. But. but it does work. Now it's nice and straight. And it's still a little bit crooked. Better than it was, though. At least the whole thing's on screen now. So yeah, there's that. Um, I don't, I don't know what else to say about it. It's, it's a case. Feels good. Feels pretty good. Uh, I commented on this before, but there is no labeling on any part of it. Um, go figure. The one thing they did label was that Nintendo logo. They made sure to put the one label that will actually get them in trouble instead of putting like on off light, headphone DC input, contrast, link or extension and volume, didn't do any of that. Of course not. That would be ridiculous. But they did do the rest of it. And uh, I guess the only thing left to do now is transfer over the label. How much adhesive came off? I'm thinking heat would have been a good call. The only thing I'm using the knife for is the pointy tip to slip that under the sticker. I'm not cutting anything. For those that have never done this before. Ooh, same thing there. I don't think there's any adhesive on that. Except for on that corner. I think it all, yep, it's all on the shell. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's fix that. Rub off the rest of the adhesive. And now, I need some more. This is the worst lighting for doing this because it is from the sides and not overhead.
But as long as I hold it at that angle, it seems to work. So for those that didn't see what I just did, I just peeled off big, I cut off a big chunk of double-sided tape, peeled off one side of it and slapped the label down. And then I just cut to the edge of the label. Easy peasy. Now, yes, there is a slight white outline. Um, that's not because I didn't cut to the edge of the label, that's because the uh, silver backing on this label just tends to get eaten away over the years. I don't know what it is, but it is a uh, it is a common problem. It does happen to the bottom label too. In fact, I think my other yeah, my other light, you can see it's missing the backing on the label in the same place as it's missing the, the metallic coating. I don't know what specifically causes it, but it is a thing. If anyone has more information, I would love to read more about that. And there we go. Got the label transferred over nicely. Would have been better to uh, not have to put adhesive on it, but it is what it is. There we go. So yeah, there are definitely some problems. Uh, I'm not really happy with the finish on the cart slot. You can see some of the machining marks where there ought not be any. Um, you can see on the stock Game Boy Light it should be perfectly smooth. On this one you can see where they finished the mold with what looks like a three millimeter end mill. Let's find out, actually. Because I can. Nope. I was off. That is a six millimeter end mill. I don't know my uh, millimeters, apparently. Either way. The fact that I can clearly measure that means that they did something wrong with a plastic injection molded part. On the inside, that is not at all a crime, but even on the stock shell, I can't see any of that. Um, so you can tell that this was a very expensive mold. Um, you know, there's this, there's these obvious black marks on, in some of the places. Oh, excuse me like right at the cart slot, in the contrast wheel area. I think there was another one on the front, on the back, on the back of the front, rather. But, I mean, everything does fit. There's some flashing they need to take care of. It looks like there's a bit of a panel gap here. I don't think that's just... I need to take that out. Yeah, I'm afraid to really crank that screw down, but I'm pretty sure that's not it. There's some weird markings around the finish there. There's, of course, tons of flashing. I need to take a razor blade to these edges. Yeah. Tons of little issues. There's issues if you look for it. But still, again, this is a sample, so issues are to be expected. Um, and even then, this is still phenomenal work because what's your alternative? You know, you, you want to reshell your Game Boy Light, you got to buy another Game Boy Light. And at that point, what's the point of reshelling it? You just use the other one that you bought. Uh, but I don't know. I'm excited for these new things. I don't know. I don't know what details I am allowed to share or not, so forgive me if I've gone late on that. Um, but 
I do know that, like I said, these will be coming in two colors. That is subject to change, but last I heard, it has not changed. Uh, clear and then clear yellow, like the uh, extreme green shell. Um, it will be made by Cloud Game Store, same company that did the backlight kit in the Game Boy Advance that I quite literally just did a video on, but probably will publish this video long before I publish this one. Uh, they are. They also do make a lot of um, custom lenses for Game Boys and backlight kits, and their lenses are phenomenal, which is why I'm kind of looking forward to this, because it might mean we get some new Game Boy Light lenses. Uh, but otherwise, I don't know. I'm... that... That, that's all the information I have. I can't even share more if I wanted to. I have no idea when these things are coming, but based on the fact that I have a sample in hand, I'm guessing pretty soon. Um, the original release date for these was intended to be mid-February before Chinese New Year. That clearly didn't happen. Today is April 17. So, it's been a month and a half. Uh... So, I, I, I guess they're coming any day now? Who knows? I don't. Anyway, that's, uh, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic night. Mods are asleep post-DMGs.